Hey guys, what's up? Valerie here. I haven't seen you for a while. I hope you guys are doing well. I have deleted a few of my videos just to have like a clean slate to start anew. Just like the title says, starting anew. You know, there is something that I want to get off my chest. And if there's one thing that I've learned in 2020 is probably that you always have to be thankful and grateful for everything that you have because it can be taken away from you in a blink of an eye. Let's rewind here a little bit. So back on the 18th of December, my dad got tested positive for Corona while my mom and I were tested negative. That still meant that we had to quarantine between Christmas and New Year's Eve. And lockdown in Austria was actually until the 18th of January, so we were isolated for a month. And I know that other people have gotten worse than we did, so we just focused on making the best out of it. And fast forward to now, we're all healthy and just grateful that none of us had any bad symptoms. So while I was in quarantine, I saw it as an opportunity to work on myself. I worked on building better habits like reading 20 pages every day. And honestly, I didn't even mind being in isolation for a month because it just meant that I had more time to evolve spiritually and mentally and now I feel healthier than I ever did before. So seeing affirmations and writing down things that I'm grateful for every day helped me change my mindset and to shift my perspective a lot. Back on the 21st of December when the conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter happened, I told myself to get organized and manifest my dreams. So I built a vision board and wrote everything down. I had goals in mind that kept me motivated every day. One of them was studying abroad. And at the beginning I was planning to study in Canada. I had approval from my partner university and everything went according to plan. And my friends were also very happy for me. Guess who's moving to Toronto? Eight years. Nine, right? Yeah. Oh my god. This? Canada? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm gonna move to Toronto. No way. See you Toronto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But then COVID ruined my plans and my partner university was unable to accept me. And so I was unable to fly to Canada, but I didn't give up. So my professor told me I had two options, either I opt out of the exchange program or I just stick with another university that still welcomes international students. And at this point I wasn't really sure what to choose, but then when I was studying I found a pen in my bag that said Qantas on it, and I had supposedly taken it subconsciously when I went to an event, and funnily enough Qantas was one of the universities I was able to choose from. So I just saw it as a sign, and yeah, I ended up in Eindhoven. Yeah, and now I'm here. I am incredibly thankful that I've been given this opportunity to be here, to study here in Eindhoven, even though COVID is still omnipresent and, and I just want you to know that I am not being irresponsible, I'm not traveling just for fun. I am merely just trying to evolve and like I have actually always wanted to go abroad and study abroad and if you really want something, you know, you gotta manifest it, you gotta write everything down that you want and look at it every day, every month, every week. and just perceive the signs that the universe is showing you if, if that's something that you believe in some people just think that's something crazy it doesn't happen but it helped me and i mean if it helps others then why not share it i said you know if 2020 wasn't your year it is important to get rid of that weight that is on your shoulders just because we are living in unprecedented times and 
millions of jobs and lives were lost and yeah you shouldn't additionally have to deal with the guilt that you you were not productive enough some people need to hear this i'm proud of you you're doing well and you're gonna smash 2021 i'm manifesting this for you and lastly you know i want to share this journey with you not because i want to show off i just want to show my authentic self and not be afraid of that and i think that's the perfect challenge for me posting every week of myself i just want to show myself that i am capable of keeping my own word i'd be very very happy if you would accompany me on this journey i promise to keep it as real as possible and not to change myself just um, to be perceived as something that I'm not because I would rather have you hate me for who I am than having to change myself and then just loving that fake persona of me. My goal is just to make uh, the most out of 2021 without being irresponsible and without putting other people in danger by not following the rules and regulations that we have here in the Netherlands. And yeah, maybe this will inspire you as well. And I hope you guys enjoy this series. This is the first part of Study Abroad Diaries. There's many, many, many parts to come. And I really hope you tune in. Let's stop blabbering and talking too much. And let's go. Let's get into it, shall we? After we arrived, we had to of course go to quarantine and after 5 days we got tested and after that, yeah, we ate a lot. It's crazy what we ate. We ate Taco Bell with 5 guys, just a lot of unhealthy stuff, but we're trying to change that. We also got bubble tea at Tea Stories, which is incredibly good. We also went grocery shopping here and there. I love the fact that they have like sprinkles here to keep the vegetables fresh. Yeah. Then I got some packages. A few of them actually, so I can sell in. And we went biking successfully or not. <laughs> then we went on a day trip and visited three cities we went to Amsterdam just for a few hours or like minutes just because it was very windy and very cold and there was basically nothing to see and then we went to The Hague which was I think my favorite city out of all the three of them <laughs> and lastly we went to Gouda and it was actually the last stop on our day trip and then of course you know everything has to come to an end and I had to say bye to my mom after 10 days thank you mom for being a great great companion okay that's it for me today guys I hope you really really liked it but yeah tune in for the next episode I'm very very excited to show you what I've planned and yeah, see you soon. Stay healthy. Love you.